Hey everyone, this is Red at the Lifto Show, a show where we talk about anything and everything. Lifto, Canada's leading partner for end-to-end -end Toyota forklift and material handling solutions. Our guest for today is Mr. John Marcelino. He is the head of our safety products division. And basically, whatever is in our catalog, whatever is in our safety products tab on our website, he takes care of it. John, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. How's everything with you? Everything's great. How about yourself? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Business is good. Business is good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, it's picking up, uh, which is nice, which is uh -huh. great to see. Yeah. I imagine the online sales are good too because like during COVID, not a lot of people can walk in, they just buy through the site or, or Absolutely. online. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the trend is going that way so we can uh, we can see that as well. So absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And also for those that don't know, um, your division handles all the other deal dealers as well in terms of the safety products. So uh, dealers in the States, we take care of a lot of their needs in terms of like safety products that is like around the forklift absolutely we are the hub uh, for all the toyota dealers as well yes yeah and um but today we i want to focus on our uh, uh forklift safety lights so uh, um i brought up what i have here on the screen is like our uh, uh forklift safety lights section of products there, there's quite a bit uh for a we're looking at 11 products right here. And um, before we, you describe each briefly, can you talk about the importance of this product? I, I know that uh, we kind of pioneered using these forklift sa safety lights, putting them in a forklift and, and what, 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 made, what started all of that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, the lights are specific to, uh, to alerting pedestrians. And that's very important uh, since most studies are going to show that 40% of accidents that involve, uh, uh, that, that involve an accident will involve a pedestrian as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so you do want uh, lights as part of your general safety in a, war in a warehouse application where you have pedestrians. Yes. And this like makes like a guiding light, sort of like a, like a uh, psychological barrier. So that the pedestrian won't cross. Is that the idea for these uh, lights? Absolutely. You want to give the pedestrian ample time to react mm -hmm. to something like a forklift that can move pretty quickly in a warehouse. So that's what the lights are designed for, to give that pedestrian ample amount of time to know that a forklift is coming to avoid any collisions with pedestrians. Yes. Yes. So um, let's go through all of these. Um, if you can quickly describe each and then... Um... Uh, and their features and and uh absolutely yep okay so we're going to start off with our safe light uh, our safe light is our uh our flagship light it's been uh, uh on our website and in our market the longest time so it's a time-tested light mm -hmm. uh, the very good uh, aspect of the safe light is that it is ul rated and it creates a high quality small intense spotlight on the floor Mm -hmm. uh, so again, very high quality light, uh, time tested UL rated light. Uh, we'll move on to the big blue light. So the big blue spotlight uh, is our most powerful light. It creates a very large bright blue spot on the ground. So if uh, a visual light is what you're looking for, then the big blue uh, has the most power and generates the largest spot uh, mm -hmm. on the ground. Uh, moving on to the eco blue light. The eco blue light is designed to be uh, economically uh, good in terms of uh, the price you're paying for light, but yet yields a high quality spot on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it is CE rated as well. Won't have the UL rating, however, it is CE rated. Um, the aero blue is uh, fantastic because it will generate a bright arrow on the floor that will give pedestrians an indication of what direction the forklift is actually moving. So not only does it alert the pedestrian, it actually shows you what direction the forklift is moving. Uh, the red zone, uh, moving on, red zone was designed specifically for the side of the forklift, and that's to keep pedestrians away from the actual side to prevent any foot injuries 
and as well to protect them from the rear end swing uh, mm -hmm. of the forklift as well. Um, then we come to the arc light. The arc light, again, designed for uh, protecting pedestrians against rear end swing. However, the good thing about the arc light is that you can mount many different lights in many different configurations uh, to get a different uh, uh, aspect or, or protection against the forklift. For instance, you could protect the front and the back of the forklift, mm -hmm. or you can put three or four lights around the forklift to create a halo around the entire forklift. So uh, depending on what the customer is looking for, you can design it for whatever protection you want uh, with your forklifts. Yeah, so and, and incidentally, at the end of this, we, we're going to show a short video clip around this arc light. So literally, you can make a like a force shield around the forklift, eh? You think Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll show Absolutely. that later. Yes, yeah, so moving on, we have the logo light as well. So mm -hmm. the logo light is unique uh, because it projects an actual image of a forklift uh, on the ground. So it gives a pedestrian... Uh, time to react and to let them know that it is a forklift that is approaching them. Uh, so that is kind of neat as well. I'm just going to show that quickly. So I actually have a question here. Does it, the logo, can the companies change the logo or is it just the forklift like the this? The logo light, it is uh, just one static image, um, wow. image, but it will show the image of the forklift itself. So some okay. customers may want not just a spot, but to show that it is a forklift approaching, that there is imminent danger. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Would have been good, maybe in the future, <laughs> if we can make it so that, this, let's say you type in a, a logo in the software and it will create that logo. That'll be cool. But either way, this is a cool one. Yes. Um, and next one here is the forklift pal. So what the forklift pal, yes. We designed that to not only alert uh, pedestrians around the forklift that a forklift is there. So it has the two uh, bar lights on the front and a rear end light um, that uh, will turn red when the forklift is reversing and white when it is moving in reverse. So not only does it alert pedestrians uh, that a forklift is in the area, it also provides light for the operator. So mm. if they want almost two things in one, one, one light, this is what they can offer. So they can see where they're going. They can see in a low light application uh, where their forks are. And it will also safely alert pedestrians that a forklift is in the area. Okay, very cool. So it's like your headlight and also your warning light. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, and moving on to the bright light. So the bright light is uh, a replacement for the incandescent uh, headlights. Uh, mm. on the forklift. So the bright light will project a really bright light, again, for low light um, uh, applications where maybe the operator can't see in a specific spot in the warehouse. The bright light projects a nice white quality light uh, to light up uh, a certain area uh, uh, for uh, just to give you that extra uh, view for the operator. Mm -hmm. uh, and along the same lines, the eco headlight, again, uh, it does replace the incandescent uh, lights on a forklift. However, it's uh, not as bright um, for design purposes, just so it's not blinding. So mm -hmm. a very bright light, um, you know, used uh, very often could uh, be offensive to some uh, pedestrians. So the eco headlight offers, again, a white light that can light up an area, however, will not blind pedestrians if that is an issue uh, in mm -hmm. the workplace. Mm -hmm. and then and lastly, then moving on to our final light, we have the crane light. Uh, for cranes, uh, you need a very powerful uh, LED light because cranes can, uh, as you know, be quite high uh, mm. in the warehouse application. So the crane light is an extremely powerful LED light that uh, will shine a spot on the floor to indicate where that crane is. And it can go from 50 to 100 feet high. Uh, to alert to pedestrians of where that crane actually is. Again, alerting them of any danger uh, if there are so, pedestrians in the area. So this is like when you see that, that the light is on like, let's say right there, 
don't go under there because something might fall on you absolutely over there's an overhead crane up top exactly okay okay that's very cool so uh i guess aside from the crane light the rest of these are getting power from the forklift battery that yeah. is correct so the, all of them get power directly from the forklift Mm -hmm. uh, and all of them are designed uh, to be uh, in a 12 to 48 volt application uh, as to fit any type of electric truck. Mm -hmm. Well, so as we said, John, we're going to um, play the uh, Arclight video for our audience to see what it is. It's a one minute video. If we could just uh, give it uh, a minute uh, for our viewers to see it and then we'll get back. Excellent. Introducing the Forklift Arclight. When just one Arclight is installed on the back of the forklift, it brightly warns the pedestrian of an oncoming forklift and its rear end swing. Using three Arclights gives increased safety perimeter to warn others to stay away from both the front and back of the forklift. Ultimate 4 arc light configuration provides a complete safety halo around the forklift. The arc light comes complete with mounting brackets. The light operates on 9 to 64 voltage. It will last 100,000 hours with a lifetime warranty. A polycarbonate lens for industrial use and it is CE rated. Forklift arc light, warning pedestrians of forklift danger. That is very cool, John. This is a new product, eh? This it's brand new. We just came out with that, and uh, we've had some pretty early success with it so far. Mm -hmm. Is it only come in red, or is it in green or blue? Or the arc light is only available in red. That's correct. Uh, we just have the one color configuration. And it's probably the, the, the most dominant color that uh, customers request. So we stuck with the red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that is very cool, John. Um, so I'm just going to take our viewers to our safety products uh, page just for them to see where they can buy the rest of the, um, the products that we sell, uh, not just the forklift uh, safety lights. And incidentally, we have a promo that's running right now this is our um, 60th anniversary promo that we just launched just this week so what this is is for every purchase of anything that's in this section of the website battery safety dock equipment drum handling facility and product fault protection forklift attachment forklift safety the lights forklift scales booms material handling not the promo items, propane, safety, video, training, and material, and ergonomic products. If you spend $60 or more, you get this bag for free. That is our uh, way of showing appreciation to our customers, as well as letting them know that we're it's our 60th birthday, and um, it's our way of celebrating. So John, aside from the website, how else can they order safety products? Well, our safety products are available uh, other than online. They can always call into our call center. So we have people here that can help, uh, very knowledgeable as well. Not only myself, we have a few other people here. So mm -hmm. online, call in, uh, email, uh, any way we can get that order processed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, you guys have been around for a long time. We are, like I said, we're the pioneer of this, Lift House Pioneer most of this and uh, we are here to serve and um john i would like to thank you for being with me today as you saw there's a lot of groups of products there so i'm sure i'm going to guest you again and talk about those other categories but again thank you for being on the show absolutely thanks for having me thanks red thank you john